Welcome to the FX Options Weekly Outlook, a weekly podcast series hosted by Jason Ayers, a top instructor, trader, and founder of Optionsource.net. Join Jason as he discusses the latest trends in the Forex market with a look ahead on the U.S. dollar versus the major currencies using the most commonly used technical indicators. Well, hi there and welcome to the ISC FX Options Weekly Outlook for March 28, 2011. As always, this is Jason Ayers of Optionsource.net reminding you to sign up for your free online workshop at www.optionsource.net. Let's take a look at a weekly chart of the U.S. dollar index. As always, this is a great way to gain perspective as to how the U.S. dollar has been trading against a basket of currencies. Well, if we take a look at the dollar index, it closed last week back above that 76 focal zone. However, the trend does remain down. We are looking for a break above 77 uh, in order to lend credibility to a possible reversal of this current uh, downtrend that has been enforced for quite some time now. If we switch over and take a look at a daily chart, we can see that with a break above 76 last week, the window is open for a short-term move into that 77 resistance level. Next up, the CDD, the U.S. versus the Canadian dollar. Well, the CDD closed the week uh, with a rally into the 98, 98 and a half focal zone. A break above 98 and a half opens the window for a move towards this 99 and a half, 100 focal zone. Let's take a look at the YUK, the US dollar versus the Japanese yen. Well, the YUK has been consolidating within the 81 and a, 81, 81 and a half focal zone for the past week. A break below 81 opens the window for a retest of the lows. A break above 81 and a half lends credibility to a move towards resistance at the 82 and a half level. Next up, the EUI, the U.S. versus the Euro. Well, the EUI continues to trend lower, but did bounce at the 70 uh, support level as we expected last week. This does lend credibility to a test of the 71.5, 72 resistance level. Let's take a look at the U.S. dollar versus the British pound as seen here in the ISE FX options pair value BPX. Well, the BPX continues to consolidate above our 61.5, 62 uh, support level, and a break above 62.5 opens the window for a move uh, higher. Let's take a look at the U.S. dollar versus the Australian dollar as seen here in the AUX. The AUX broke below a major support level at 98, which does open the window for a move lower towards this 95, 96 box. A reversal back into the 98, 99 focal zone is likely to follow through with a move towards this 100, 101 resistance level. Let's take a look at a few of our key points. First of all, the U.S. dollar has broken back above 76, but still trends down. A bullish flag or wedge formation will lend more credibility to a continuation higher. The CDD spent last week consolidating between 97.5 and 98. A break above 98.5 opens the window for a move towards 100. The YUK spent last week consolidating between 81 81 and 81.5. A break above 81.5 opens the window for a move higher. The EUI has bounced off of the 70 level. It appears as though a retracement to 71.5, 72 is a high probability. However, the major trend remains to the downside. The BPX regained significant ground last week, trading into the 62.5, 63 resistance level. A break above 62.5 opens the window for a continuation higher. The AUX reversed last week and slipped below 98.99 support. Failure to break back above 98 lends credibility to a continuation lower into the 95.96 focal zone. And this has been your ISC FX Options Weekly Outlook for March 28, 2011. As always, this is Jason Ayers of Optionsource.net reminding you to sign up for your free webinar at www.optionsource.net. Thanks for joining me here this week. We'll see you here next week. Thank you for participating in this week's session. Please join us again next week. For trading ideas, exchange rates, webinars, news, and commentary, visit www.fxoptions.com. Become an Optionsource.net member. Visit www.optionsource.net. ISE FX Options can be easily traded through all options-enabled brokerage accounts. These exchange-listed securities are cash-settled in U.S. dollars and have a European-style exercise.